Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my art channel. Thank you for being here. And today I've got with me Kate. This is my second child, my oldest daughter. Hi. So um, I don't know if you saw the video where I painted with my oldest son, Elliot. It was a lot of fun. Kate has been waiting for this day for months until I would have time to do a painting video with her. So we're going to do it today. So, Kate, tell us, what kind of a painting are we doing today? We are just doing a flip cup. A flip cup. And we're using really boring, like, browns and greens, right? No. What colors are we using? We're using really bright colors. Bright colors. Okay, here are our colors. Well, we've got a, a 10 by 10 inch canvas here. And our colors are metallic amethyst. From folk art. The paint's all mixed medium to medium thick. We've mixed everything with Floetrol, American Floetrol, and it's mixed kind of medium thick. Then this is Cerulean Blue from Creative Inspirations. We have White from Sargent. So you can see, well, well that looks very thick. You can see it does flow, but it's a thick, it's a thick flowing paint. And then this one, this is a chameleon powder from Let's Resin. This is magenta. So it's a, it's a color shifting mica pigment that we mixed up with gloss gel and then added Floetrol. So if you're curious to know how do you use mica powders in a painting, you can click this video that's popping up. And that'll show you how I mixed mix mica powders like that. This is magenta. Did I say that? Magenta. So it looks like this sort of rose gold, but uh, it shines a bright magenta color. And then this is quinacridone rose from Creative Inspirations. And then finally, we've got metallic gold from Creative Inspirations. And Kate picked all of these colors herself. She perused my paint shelf and she said, these are the prettiest colors. These are the ones I want to do. So that's what we've got today. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes. Let's make a painting. Heads up, I have a big announcement coming at the end of this video, so be sure to watch it all the way to the end. So here's our cup, and Kate is going to layer it. So what color are we going to start with? I'll pass you a color and you can put it in. Purple. All right. So we're adding some purple first. Great. That's okay. And then the blue? Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of laid out this order, and this is the order that we're going to be adding them in. The sticks do get in the way. Okay. We got a lot of white, so you can either add the white as two separate layers or just as a nice big layer. Okay, yeah, that's probably good. Great. And then start back again with purple. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we don't have tons left of each color. How about we add pretty much all the rest of each color in this last layer? Okay. So just pour out yep. all of this? Yep. All of it? All of it. See, it's not that much. Oh, and all of our paints have a drop of silicone in them. It's about one drop per ounce or one drop per cup, because most colors we only had about an ounce of each color. So we should get lots of beautiful cells from that. So the rest of the white too? Uh, most of it. Okay. That good? Yeah. We'll save a little bit of white for the end. It's going to be really interesting to see how these colors blend because we got some really bold colors here. Bold blue, bold pink. But then metallics and we got white, so it's going to be a really interesting blend. Wonderful. All right, let's put in the last of the white on top of that. Great. Okay, wipe off your hands there. Okay, now comes the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the first turn, and then Kate's gonna flip it. Do you want to put on your gloves first? Do it. <laughs> Help! 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 <sighs> Whew. We got gloves on. Okay, are you ready to pick it up? Uh, so you can pick it straight up. Or you can sort of slide it forward and then pull it backwards, whatever you want to do. Woo! Cool! So I'm just grabbing this and I'm pouring the extras out on the corners here. That's so pretty! Yeah! She's gonna tip it around, she's gonna do the tilting. So as you do it, do you want me to help you or do you want to do it all by yourself? I'll do it. Okay. Sounds great. Okay, so as you do it, you don't have to go fast. Let the paint move slowly. If you try to make it go fast, it'll all run off. Okay. So you don't grab the sides. You put your hands underneath and pick up like that. Okay. Okay? Why don't you come around to this side first? Good. That's nice and slow. That's perfect. And this way? More this way? Mm -hmm. Okay, which, which corner do you want to go off first? This one? Yeah. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now back. Whoop, back. There we go. Show the paint on your fingers. Okay. Now which side? That one. This side? Yeah. Okay. So as soon as it goes all the way to the corner, you quickly go back the other way. Nope. A little bit more. There we go. Now back. Great. This one or that one? That one. This one? Okay. This is cool. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, back. Oh, oh, back this way. We gotta pull the paint to the middle before we send it that way. Okay, now send it to that corner. Mm 
little bit more that way. Great, and back this way, straight back. Good. This way. Yeah. Okay. Now take your hands off, because your hands are stuck to the sides of the canvas. <laughs> Let me just set this down. I'll we'll take off our gloves, get our hands clean. Wait. This is looking really pretty. Yeah. So like right here isn't covered on the side. Should we tilt to get this side off or do you like that section right there? Do you like the section? Mm -hmm. So what we can do. Let's take some of the paint that's off. Is there too much white here? Should we send it back down this way to get rid of some of this white? Is there too much blue? Should we send it back this way? <laughs> There's so much of this that I like. All right, how about this? I'll just pick it up and do a little bit. In every corner? Well, I'll just get the paint moving a little bit. And you tell me if you want me to stop. I'm just gonna take a little bit off this one side. I think that'll help make it all look a bit better. And then I'm going to bring it back. What do you think of that? That looks really good. You, you, are you happy with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we put some in that corner? Yep. Yep. And we'll just... Cover up those bare corners. Yes. Ooh, I got all pinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kate, what words would you use to describe this painting? What do you think of it? I think it's amazing. What do you think it looks like? It looks like the sunset on an ocean. I was going to say it looks kind of like sunset clouds. So we've got like clouds, we've got sky or ocean. We've got beautiful sunset colors. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. High five, Kate. All right, let's give you a close up. So this is super pretty. I can't wait to see when the metallics are shimmering because I think a lot of that lacing around those blue cells there is either the purple or that... Um, magenta mica powder. So I think it's going to look really cool when it is dry and you can see the shimmer. But we got this big pocket of white here. Lots of cool cloudy sort of cells there. And then this is where we've got our bright colors. Golds and pinks and purples all showing up. In this section right here I just took like a chopstick and traced some more cells because there were some big kind of crescent shaped cells there and uh, I wanted them to look a little bit more like the rest of the painting and Kate agreed so you can see some of those lines that I've traced and when the painting is dry I'll come in with a brush and just tweak those so they look totally natural but yeah it's beautiful you can see that gold and this is just gonna look really amazing Sunset on the water, that's what Kate has named it. So we will show you how this looks when it is dry. We're back. It's been a few days and the painting is completely dry, but before we show it to you, we have a big announcement. In December, I'm doing a little series called Let's Talk Fluid Art. It's gonna be a really fun mix of different things, including some video spotlights, some giveaways, woohoo, and interviews with other YouTube fluid artists. I will also be answering questions and sharing some tips about acrylic pouring and running a YouTube art channel. So if you have questions that you would like me to answer, go ahead and comment them below. Okay, back to Kate's painting. Kate, let's see it. How did it dry? Ooh, I see lots of metallic shimmer. What do you think of this? I really like it and I I feel like it really looks like a sunset on the ocean because there's like sunset colors up there and the water and the waves. 
I feel like it really looks like a sunset on the ocean. Yes. So this is the way that Kate thinks it should be arranged. So we've got the beautiful sunset. We've got the water crashing up onto the surf. So you can see there's metallic purple and gold in there. And there are some pockets where that mica, mica pigment showed up. It's a little bit hard to see. We haven't cleaned this painting yet. So it's got a little bit of that silicone oil sheen on it. I think once the silicone is cleaned off and it's varnished, it'll look better. If you're not sure what we mean about cleaning your acrylic pour, if you use silicone oil in a painting, you need to clean it before you varnish it. Otherwise it could cause problems. So you can check out this video link that's popping up and that'll show you how to clean all the silicone oil off of your painting. And then if you wanna know how, how we varnish, how I varnish, you don't varnish. <laughs> how I varnish my paintings and how I will be varnishing this in a couple of weeks, you can click on this video that's popping up and that'll show you how I varnish. Thanks so much for watching this acrylic pouring video with Kate. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.